Hi guys, it's Keith H again and I'm here again today at Players of War Airsoft in Central Scotland wearing the full World War II German uniform and it gives me a good opportunity to talk about some of the equipment that we carry while we're playing here. On the Players of War channel what you'll see over the course of a few weeks is a look at some of the custom built weapons that the guys here carry. Weapons that are not really available in the shops, they are all custom built. So if you pop over to that other channel, follow the links at the bottom of the screen you can have a look at some handmade, unique weapons at Players of War. But anyway, what we're going to do today is have a look at the Zeltban, or the German Tent Quarter, which is also a poncho. It's a piece of equipment that a lot of guys carry on their belts, but not very many actually use. I've not seen anyone using it for what it's really intended for. It's just something they wear to really pimp out their loadout. So today we're going to look at what that item is and what you can do with it. It's meant to be a tent quarter so one man would carry one quarter and the four men together would have enough sections that they could put together a small tent for shelter when they're camping out but each individual tent quarter also serves a couple of very important purposes you've got the poncho which can be made from it and because it's got summer and autumn sides you can really turn it to whichever colour really suits the environment that you're in at that particular time and it can also be used as a very quick makeshift one-man shelter. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the Zeltban, exactly what it is and how you would use it as an individual soldier or even an individual airsofter. It's something that would be carried either on the rear of the belt itself or it could be carried higher up on your Y-straps on an A-frame which was a custom designed harness for carrying more equipment. So generally stored on the back of the soldier and it's removed when need be. So let's have a look at that unraveled. So what you'll notice after being unfolded from being on the soldier's belt is that the Zelt band is a large triangular shape of reasonably waterproof fabric and all the way around the outside we've got a series of buttons and also buttonholes all the way around all three sides of the Zelt band itself. And in the central part we have a couple of flaps which allow the Zeltban to be worn over the soldier's head in the form of a poncho. And as I already showed you, it does have two sides. We've got the green summer side and oak leaf and also the corresponding autumn side. So depending on the time of year, depending on the environment that you're in, you would choose the colour that best suited the environment. So that's it when it's opened up. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to form this into a poncho. So I'm going to start first of all by folding the bottom edge in to the centre. That's the one on the left. The second one on the opposite side of the poncho of the Zeltban is again going to be folded inwards and the two halves join there in the middle. What we have in the centre is the headspace for actually forming the poncho itself. And the top part of the Zeltban is then folded down the way. And so that it forms a waterproof cover, it's going to be the bottom flap on the Zeltban that is buttoned up into the top cover. So we just line it up with the buttons there. And starting from the bottom, I'll just button it up like so, so it's the bottom button that's coming up to the upward eyelet. And what that means is that when it's raining, the water is running down the front of the Zeltban, and this part here is sheltered from the rain. So the water runs down the Zeltban and away from the soldier rather than into his personal equipment. And the same on this side. And again that allows the water to run down the way over the poncho rather than get into the uniform and equipment underneath. A lot of soldiers would however put their equipment on the outside of the poncho so that they could reach it a lot quicker. And the poncho itself really being used as a camouflage item at times rather than a rain cover. So there we go. Once it's all been buttoned up, what you'll see in front of you there is that we have a nice green oak leaf square. So how do we put it on? 
once the poncho has been pulled over the soldier's head, it's simply a case of extending the arms out of the side because we'll leave the top two buttons undone and it forms a position for your arms to go through and we simply pull it down and what you'll notice now is that the soldier now has a nice roomy baggy waterproof poncho to wear and likewise it's the summer side that's out with the autumn side underneath if I was going to go to an area that had really dark brown surroundings if it was in the middle of autumn for example I would wear it the other way around so that is one of the uses of the Zeltban as a poncho what else can we do with it? So that was the Zeltban being used as a poncho now mentioned earlier on that it could also be used on its own by the individual soldier as an effective aid for shelter from the elements if it's not being used as a poncho and it could also be used as quite a simple camouflage item again not being used in the poncho mode first of all because I'm in a, a V shape here with the logs I'm going to use the logs in combination with the Zeltban to form just a, an area of shelter from the elements that can be done very simply so let's have a look at how we're going to do that mentioned earlier on that the Zeltban itself was in the shape of a triangle and you've seen that earlier from the actual poncho demonstration I'm now going to just tie a little bit of string to each of the three corners so I'm going to do this another twice so with each of the three corners tied with string it's then attached to the trees that form the edges of the log bunker itself and now it gives an element of shelter from any wind and rain coming down and you can see I've used the autumn outer edge of that because it more closely resembles the environment that's being used in matches the log bunker very closely in colour so the top of the triangle itself has been raised with the two lower edges lower down allowing the flow of water to come down the way and away from the area that you'd actually be sitting in so although it's very makeshift it does afford a certain element of protection from bad weather and there we can see inside the little base itself with the Zeltban forming a little makeshift roof obviously if you intended being here for any length of time you take a lot more care about the exact positioning of the Zeltban maybe make it a little bit tighter so the water flowed down a little bit easier but this guy is just purely for demonstration purposes another item that you see World War II airsofters wearing as part of their loadout and never really using so it's just another way of making use of a fantastically versatile piece of equipment that was that was genuinely used by the German forces in World War II.